Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Well, you've seen before virtual spaces on other operating systems. Well, there's a free tiny little utility that you can get to uh, get some virtual spaces in Windows XP and Vista. Here's a screenshot of Ubuntu, my 3D cube. Here's the cylinder version in Ubuntu for virtual uh, workspaces that you can see there. It's pretty neat. I've done this and shown in my previous videos. And also here you can see the OS X spaces. Now what about Windows? Well, there's tons of other utilities that you can download and install. But Microsoft TechNet on the Windows Cisternals website specifically, there's a free tiny little utility that's there available. It's been there for over a year now desktops version 1.0 it's free it's tiny and very simple and straightforward it's nothing out of the ordinary it's not spectacular but it's fun to use and I thought I'd show it to you guys right so it allows up to four virtual spaces when you download it you just double click on the exe and it runs now there's certain things limitations to this tiny little utility okay so here they are listed a few of them for you and just keep that in mind all right when you run this because this isn't a big humongous app it's a tiny little tool and when you double click on that exe file it just runs that's it there's no installing it just runs you'll see it in the background there on the taskbar you can click on it the little icon and it shows you the four spaces you can only have one or two or three if you want but I have four running right now they all share the same wallpaper and um, basically when you run it it's running a desktops.exe four megs there you can see and four explore.exe's one for each virtual space you can't drag and drop windows between them just keep that in mind okay and um, it's basically a very simple tiny utility okay so just for fun I thought I'd show it to you guys and as you can see I've got running different uh, uh, browsers in each of those windows now you can go into the options for this too by uh, right clicking on it and in there you can specify shortcut key combinations and things like that and uh, have it automatically run now to delete this all you have to do is just select the icon there the uh, desktops.exe and delete it done okay it's gone so don't worry about how do I remove it from my computer that's how you remove it you just delete the exe file and it's gone but to shut down those virtual spaces the one that's running in the taskbar there at the bottom you have to actually log off and log back into Windows okay so if you want to keep it and not delete it you just want to shut it down you actually have to log off okay so keep that in mind um, if you're wondering what's going on all right with that and how where's the option to shut it off because there isn't any you have to actually log off and log back in okay anyways fun tiny little utility I thought I'd share it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching